just a heads up, I might play with my hair a lot and like touch it a lot throughout this video because it's not cooperating with me. What's up guys, Chantal here and welcome to my video. Yay! It's been such a long time since I've done a sit down and talk to you guys, talk to the camera sort of video. So before I get back to university and get my life started for 2017, I decided that maybe my first upload for 2017 should be just catching you guys up, just talking to you guys, you know. For those of you who have never seen me before, hi. Might be wondering why on earth am I holding an egg? Well, this beautiful egg, this dragon egg, Game of Thrones, Khaleesi. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm a loser. A few years ago, I bought this egg and then I decided that I should put it in my videos and I started like holding it in the videos where I just spoke. So I'm bringing it back because it's been a while, I feel. So today's video is just going to be catching you guys up on a few things and then the main topic will be about my new hair yes so new things you may have noticed the quality of this video might be a bit different that is because i'm using my dad's camera he's had it for a while and i don't know why i never asked him for it sooner and i have lighting just to brighten up my videos a little especially since the sun's going down my goal for youtube this year is to reach thousand or more subscribers god willing so having this camera is gonna just it's just gonna increase the quality of my videos it won't increase the content I'm not that creative so I'm sorry but yeah I'm hoping that I can upload more videos even though the content won't be so unique and original just to be more consistent because I'm so lazy like really my room is different. Um, at the back, I used to have shelves on the wall. I moved the shelves to this wall. But, yeah, it's there. And then I painted my wall. I don't know if you can see the shadow. Can you see the shadow from this light? Um, I painted my wall this like white color with a very soft touch of purple. You can see the purple in some angles and some strengths of lighting. But this corner here by my room is like... You can see it, it's pretty cool. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, can you? I'm so happy with my room. Because I'm happy with my room, I'm going to be uploading a room tour soon. I'm very excited for that. My first room tour on my channel ever out of all these many years I've been here. What else is different? That's, that's about it. My plans for 2017. I am currently 20 years old. Yep. Some of you may not believe that because some of you think I look a lot younger than I actually am. But I'm turning 21 this year. I'm studying my third year of my degree. So this year I am studying for my degree. If I pass this year, I get my degree. I'll be graduating early next year, which is pretty cool. And I'm still going to continue studying. But yeah, that's my plan this year. I mean, third year of university. I start next week, Tuesday. My classes start on Monday, but I have Mondays off. My timetable this semester is Mondays and Fridays. It's pretty cool. But yeah, that's my life basically this year is to work hard, do better in school, and then do better on YouTube, hopefully. Before I start talking about my hair, I just want to give a shout out to two people. I really appreciate you guys when you contact me on Snapchat or Instagram asking questions or just showing me some love and support for what I enjoy doing. It makes me feel so special and yeah, I just love all the love and the support. So let's just, there we go, virtual hug, just to bring it in there. So shout out to two girls. Um, one of the girls I spoke to a really long time ago, it was sometime last year. Um, her name is Andriana. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But she started off the conversation by like telling me that she watches my videos. And then she started asking me questions about myself, like about my hair or about my life. And I felt so special, you know. So I always appreciate these kind of conversations with you guys. So shout out to Andriana. The other shout out goes to love underscore sky 12. She messaged me and... I wasn't expecting for her to be someone who watches my videos because on Snapchat I just get a lot of random messages just because but she told me that she watches my videos and it's pretty awesome she's from the Bahamas which is pretty cool so thank you
Thank you so much. Shout out to you, girl. Lots of love. Now, on to my hair. As you can see, I chopped off a lot of hair. You guys may have seen my previous videos. My hair was pretty long. Like, I had mermaid hair. So this is how much I chopped off. Yep, this is all the hair that came off. And as you can see by the color, it's it's like light, it's orange because when I was 19, I got my hair ombre for my birthday, which damaged my hair quite a lot. I had like a tint of red on it. When that red washed out, my hair became like orangey. So I kept box dyeing my hair because I cannot afford to go to the salon and dye my hair. And then it would still wash out and I'd still end up with orange hair and it was kind of annoying, you know? And because I bleached my hair, it was very dry and dead and just like not healthy, not alive. My mom cut my hair. She did a pretty good job. We watched like a few YouTube tutorials just to get some basics and she really executed it well. It looks like this because I did not want to use heat on my hair today. I want to minimize using heat on my hair throughout this whole time that I have short hair because like I don't want to damage my hair because obviously I'm going to try to grow out my hair again. Of course, you know, I can use heat protectants, but still, like, you, I want to minimize that. Of, of course, there will be days I will use a straightener, but I don't find it necessary. What made me want to cut my hair? Okay, so, my hair was very dead. As I mentioned, like, I was annoyed with how rough it was. And the thing is, no matter how much you start looking after your hair, if it's dead, it's dead. It's not going to come to life. It's not going to get healthy and soft again. It's dead, you know? And the irritating thing for myself is that after a long time of having long hair, only recently I actually cared about taking care of my hair. And it's too, it's too late already because my majority of my hair was dead. So I said to myself, You know what? I am feeling a little spontaneous and I also feel like having something new. And along with that, I wanted to start growing my hair from scratch, fresh, 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 so that when it is long, I can look after it properly and then my long hair can just be as healthy as can be, you know, a lot healthier than it was last year. I wrote down here, how did I get the courage to cut my hair? Because for people with long hair, it is a bit scary to think that you're going to cut off everything. Like, you don't know if you're going to look good with that hairstyle because you're so used to looking nice with long hair. That's how I felt. I got the courage by doing a lot of research to make sure that I was sure that I wanted to cut my hair. So, I googled a lot of things, like a lot of factors to look into before deciding if you really need to cut your hair or not. The main thing was that my hair was dead. That was like, I need to get rid of it. Just so I can start fresh. And I knew like I wouldn't look too bad because my mom has a really round face and she has short hair and she looks so cute so I was like you know what I also have a round face she looks cute I bet that I'll also look okay when I chop off my hair and surprisingly I feel like I don't look that bad maybe to some of you I might look disgusting but that's fine like I know I'm not that great looking to other people it was kind of scary when I was thinking of cutting my hair because since my hair is really thick I didn't know how it was going to react to being shorter because obviously when it's long, it had a lot of weight. So it weighed all my hair down and it kept it quite straight. And my experiences of having shorter hair was that my hair didn't know what it was. Like some days it would be wavy, some days it would be quite straight. One half of my head would have waves and then the other half would just be straight. So I was like, I don't want to cut my hair and not have problems with it. But something just told me, just do it. You can always straighten even though you don't want to do that so much. But just do it. Just see how it is. And surprisingly, my hair is still pretty straight. This is my natural hair. And it's wavy because of how I slept. As you can see here. Yeah, it's just wavy. Also, when I washed my hair, I kind of scrunched my hair and twisted it. Just so it would have something. But obviously my hair is too straight. So it kind of just flattened out. Um, pros and cons of having short hair compared to long hair. Okay, so... Long hair was low maintenance because my hair was straight. I didn't have to do much besides brush my hair. Because when I washed it, it would be really frizzy because I have some frizzy strands. It would be quite bushy, but then after I slept on it, then my hair was like all straight. I didn't have to worry about doing it in the morning when I had to go to school. I just Sometimes I didn't even brush my hair. I would just put it in the pony or I just forget to brush it and it, was, it looked fine. Now having short hair, it is a lot of maintenance. Guys, 
don't fool yourselves thinking less hair, less maintenance, no. Now it's like there are pieces that are bending in certain ways and curving and just not taking the shape that you want. So you might have to straighten it more often, you might have to curl it more often. It's just a lot of maintenance considering the styling of the hair. But otherwise washing and brushing, oh my goodness, I brush like just... Mm, like sometimes I don't even have to brush my hair because it doesn't get tangled because it's so like clean and soft and new. Long hair, I had a lot of fallout. Like every time I brushed my hair, every time I washed my hair, there was always hair on my lap, on the bed. And there's always hair all over my house. But now with short hair, obviously less tangles, it, there's less hair fall, which is pretty, it's quite nice. Um, I have absolutely no regret about cutting my hair like I'm loving it right now although it does get hot around my neck area because my hair is so thick it's like oh if you could put your hand here mm. and the thing is I didn't want to cut my hair above my shoulders because then I feel like my head would look really round and I don't I don't really like my round face the last time I cut my hair pretty short it was about the same length but it was a V cut it didn't look that nice I don't know why I cut it like that but from then it took me three years to get my hair to be at my hip bones I was obsessed I'm still obsessed with mermaids I want to be a mermaid like somebody make that dream come true for me so now that I'm gonna look after my hair and now I know all the secrets to growing it faster we're gonna see how long this takes to get my mermaid hair back okay so my battery died I don't know where this cut off I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you didn't, give it a thumbs up. Comment anything down below that you want to let me know or if you have any questions or requests. My social media will be below in the description box. Subscribe to my channel. Guys, let's try to get to a thousand subscribers this year or even more or even just a thousand by my birthday. I don't know. Just Let's just get that goal, you know? And yeah, so I hope you enjoy your day, enjoy your evening wherever you are. And I hope to see you in my next video, which is probably going to be a room tour. So yeah, bye guys. Mwah.